Kia ora team, welcome back. In this video, we'll be learning about what science is in terms of observing and recording and predicting. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to make predictions on what might happen in your investigation and make observations and record them in a table. So what is science all about? Science is all about investigating. A scientist's job is to carry out investigations either in the laboratory or out in the field to answer important questions. A good scientist plans their investigation well beforehand and very carefully. And they make a prediction on what they think is going to happen before they even begin to start investigating. Scientists are experts at making observations. They use their senses of sight, touch, hearing, smell, and in some cases even taste. We're going to mainly use our senses of sight and touch for this year. Scientists also measure all of their observations, record them on a table, and display the results in a graph. And at the end of all of this, a scientist will use these new findings to answer the questions asked at the very beginning. It's incredibly satisfying to be a scientist because you can ask very tough questions and be the first in the world to know the answer. Now, I'd like to focus on each of the skills good scientists must have. The first skill is making predictions. This is all about making an educated guess or a forecast on what you think you will observe in the future and what you think the answer might be to your question. A good way to say your prediction is, I predict that, then say what, you're going, what you think you'll see, because, and then give an explanation as to why you think you'll see that. The second skill you need to learn today is making and recording observations. As scientists, we use our senses to pay very close attention to what's happening in our investigation. We will mainly use our sight, so looking at colours, patterns, bubbles and all of that. And we'll also use our touch to feel for texture, temperature, but only if it's safe. So for the rest of the lesson, we're going to be carrying out our own investigation. The aim of this investigation is to investigate what color Bunsen flame, yellow or blue, will boil 50 milliliters of water fastest. I'm gonna give you some time now to create your own prediction on what you think is gonna happen. Pause the video now. Now that you've made a prediction on what's gonna happen, it's time to think about how we're gonna do this investigation. This comes under the method part of our investigation. So pause this video and together as a class, we'll discuss what method we need to do. We'll be writing this on the board. Now we know what we're gonna be doing for the experiment, we need to talk about how we're gonna collect the results. We're going to be collecting the results in a table like this one. At the top here are the things that we're going to change. We're going to change the color of the flame. We're going to change it from yellow safety flame to the blue heating flame. And on the left hand side, we've got time taken for the water to boil. That's what we're going to measure. We're going to measure the time taken for the water to boil. For the yellow safety flame, it will go here. And for the blue heating flame, it will go here. Before we can get started, we must go over the safety rules. You'll be using a Bunsen burner, so you must follow the Bunsen burner safety rules. Wear safety glasses, tie your long hair back, use a heat proof Bunsen board under your Bunsen burner, and keep Bunsen burners away from books or curtains. Always light the Bunsen burner with the air hole closed and switch from a yellow flame, switch to a yellow flame when you're not heating. Check that the gas tap is off when you've finished. And when you're packing up, just make sure the equipment's cooled down before you put it away. Because we'll be using glassware in this laboratory, there is to be no running around or no sudden movements. And you have to watch out for the people around you because they could be carrying glass. When you're holding glass, make sure you hold it with both hands 
one hand underneath the glass container and the other hand around it. Make sure you report any breakages immediately. You won't get into trouble, but I just need to make sure that I know as soon as possible if something has been broken. And finally, do not bend the gauze mat. I'll hand you over to Miss Adviento, the real time one, and she'll give you the next instructions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.